books with blue. Today we are reading Fox and Bear, written by Lauren Reese and Rebecca Rose Moody, illustrated by Lauren Reese. Fox loved Bear, and Bear loved Fox. Bear told great stories and gave sweet hugs. Bear was warm and kind. Fox felt safe with Bear. Bear was Fox's home. Fox grew older and was ready to go on adventures, so Bear gave Fox a backpack. You can keep all your memories inside here. Some will be golden, like the sun. They will make you smile. Others might feel sad and heavy. Fox felt nervous and excited. Fox was ready for new adventures, but still wished Bear could come along. Bear said, I will miss you, but I will be waiting when you come home. When you are ready, we can unpack your memories together, and you can tell me all about your adventures. Fox went out into the world. Fox met Raccoon. Fox could not wait to tell Bear about making a new friend. The memory shone brightly in Fox's backpack. Bear was delighted to hear about Raccoon. Fox loved how Bear listened. After sharing with Bear, Fox put the new memory neatly in the closet with other treasured moments. But not all memories were happy. One day, Raccoon did something that upset Fox. Fox felt scared and confused. Fox didn't like feeling this way. The backpack grew heavy and uncomfortable. Fox was afraid. Fox didn't want to share this with Bear. What if Bear doesn't understand? What if I get in trouble? Fox put the heavy memory in the closet without telling Bear. From then on, whenever something scared or upset Fox, Fox shoved the memory in the closet and tried to forget it. But the more Fox tried to ignore the hard memories, the bigger they grew. This made Fox even more worried. Fox tried to push the door closed. As long as I can stand right here, maybe Bear won't notice. Bear noticed. I won't leave you. Whenever you are ready, you can share with me. Fox tried to distract Bear. You are good at juggling, and when you are ready to share with me, I'll be right here. Bear stayed. Fox was still afraid. Fox tried even harder to pretend everything was fine. Bear was patient. When Fox couldn't hold the door shut any longer, it burst open. All the memories came spilling out. Fox felt ashamed and afraid Bear would be mad. Bear wasn't upset at all. Bear scooped Fox up and cuddled Fox close. Fox began to cry and tell Bear everything. What I saw really scared me. Raccoon upset me. I am really confused by what happened today. The sad, hard, and scary things. You don't have to keep the hard things hidden. I'm here to keep you safe, remember? And then a surprising thing happened. After sharing with Bear, the scary memories began to shrink. They didn't disappear completely. But Fox realized, with Bear's help, the memories weren't so scary after all. Fox felt safe again. Fox was home. You don't have to keep memories hidden. Thank you to the authors of this wonderful book, Lauren and Rebecca, for allowing me to share their beautiful message with you. 
If you'd like to read along with me next time, you can purchase this book in the link in the description. Thank you for reading with me. Come back soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Books with Blue.